Hi, this is Ben with Wireless IQ. A commonly asked question about BlackBerry is the Profiles feature. Profiles allow you to change what happens when an event occurs on your BlackBerry. To get to your Profiles, you're going to scroll to this phone icon here. On some themes on the BlackBerry, it's a speaker icon, but at the bottom, it will say Profiles. To change between Profiles, press the trackball on the icon. This will bring up a list of all the profiles in the BlackBerry. BlackBerry sets some by default. Loud, vibrate, quiet, normal, phone only, and off. As you see here, I have the vibrate profile active now. I like to keep my BlackBerry on vibrate most of the time. To change between the profiles, you just highlight the profile that you want to select and press the trackball. That will change the profile to whichever profile you selected, in this case, the loud profile. Now I'm going to show you how to customize your profiles. Again, click the trackball while you're on the profiles icon. Now you'll scroll all the way to the bottom to advanced. Press the trackball again, and this will bring up a list of all the profiles in the phone. To edit a profile, highlight the profile that you want to edit and press the menu button. The menu will come up and you're going to select edit with the trackball. This will bring up all the different events that can happen on your Blackberry. For instance, your calendar messages, it will list all of your email accounts, phone, that's when somebody calls your phone, SMS text, and tasks. Let's say I wanted to change what alert happened whenever a text message came through. I'm going to highlight SMS text and press the trackball. Now you have two options. One is out of holster, the other is in holster. If you're using a BlackBerry holster, there's a magnetic device in the holster that lets the phone know whether the phone is in the holster or out of the holster. So you can change your profile accordingly. Let's say for a text message, I want it to be out of holster. And if it's out of the holster, I want it to just make a sound. That's where tone is highlighted here. I could change that to none, vibrate, or vibrate and tone. I'm going to leave it as tone. Where it says tune, that's where you can change the alert tone that occurs. I highlighted the current alert tone and I'm going to press the trackball. It will then bring up a list of all of the available tunes that you can use to alert you when a text message comes through. Once you find the alert that you want, highlight it, press the trackball, and now it will save that tune. And for in holster, I want it to vibrate and make a noise, and that's the setting that it's on now. But I'm also going to change the tune to the tune that I would use when it's out of the holster. So I press the trackball, Scroll to the one that I want to select and press the trackball again. To save these changes, press the back button and then press the trackball to select save. I'm going to back out to the profiles list. You can also create what's called an exception. Let's say I keep mine on vibrate most of the time. I'm going to activate the vibrate profile. I'm going to go back to the advanced options. And let's say my boss calls and I don't want it to vibrate. I want it to ring instead of vibrate so that I won't miss his call. I will check important calls, press menu, and then edit. Select edit by, by pressing the trackball. 
And here you can input anybody's name that's in your address book to create an exception. I want to use the loud profile so that it rings and you can also select a custom ringtone for that exception. Now when my boss calls I won't miss his call. You can also create a new profile by pressing the menu button and then new profile. And this will allow you to name a profile and customize it to your needs. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to visit our website, www.wirelessiqllc.com, or you can email me at ben at wirelessiqllc.com.